Oh, come on, man. No way! <laughs> I didn't go through it! You stupid game! Oh, man, that is BS! Welcome back everybody to American Truck Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming and we're picking up pretty much right where we left off. Um, so it's been a couple of days for me in real life since I recorded the last episode, but I believe we are in San Francisco and we are ready to take a job to somewhere else. Um, just a little bit of news for you guys. I do have the uh, the Thrustmaster TH8 gear shifter um, on its way to my house. As a matter of fact, it's supposed to be delivered later today. Uh, but I needed to get this video recorded before then. So this will probably be the last video we'll do with the sequential shift. And then uh, next time I'll have the that uh, TH8 uh, H shifter. Uh, I didn't get the um, the Eaton Fuller, um, you know, switch thingamadoodle. Hold on a second. Got to adjust my monitor a little bit here. Um, to go on top of it. Because uh, I've got extra buttons like on my wheel that I could probably use for that for now. I might get one of those later on. We'll just see how things go. Uh, and I also went ahead and ordered uh, a track IR system, but that's not going to get here until next week uh, for head tracking. And I got that, you know, both of those things, not just for this game, but also for farming simulator, excuse me, uh, too. And, you know, potentially some racing games and stuff later on. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So happy birthday to me. <laughs> My birthday's coming up here in, in nine days, so I talked to, to my wonderful wife, and uh, those are my birthday presents. Uh, anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the job market here, and uh, we want to go to freight market, and we want to see what's uh, leaving San Francisco and going somewhere else. All right, so we've got uh, a three a $3,300 job, 11.36 per mile from Frisco to Bakersfield. That's kind of low money, even though it would be a really easy haul. Um, this is a $9,000 job. This is a $12,000 job to Barstow. What does that GPS sign mean? I don't know what that means. Um, this would take us 8 hours and 28 minutes. Oh, man, it's going... <laughs> That's right, we looked at this last time, didn't we? It's going to that Eddie's place that was really hard to back in. But I don't know if... Um, if all the eddies are exactly the same or if there's different configurations. But that's a pretty decent amount of money, and it's relatively light. It's cheese. Yeah, that's right. Um, This one goes to Fresno for $5,000. That that's actually a really short run. That's only a four-hour run. So this is $12,000. Well, I guess if we went back to Barstow, which is down here, we could maybe... Um, then see if we can get a job into Arizona just to kind of open up some of that territory. And again, it is my intention, uh, most likely anyways, to get the DLC so we can open up Oregon, Washington, Idaho, some of those states too. Uh, but I just haven't gotten that far yet. So I, I think the 12000 job, uh, $12,808 job is the one we, we, we're going to take. Um, so let's set the GPS destination, and that's going to take us to where we need to go to pick up the trailer. Uh, here in Frisco. And so, yeah, we're empty right now. The other thing we wanted to do, though, is we also wanted... There's a couple places up here in Stockton we wanted to um, reset the navigation on that. Oh, that reset the navigation on the job, too. Darn it. Okay. Uh, but I wanted to look at those spots, too. Okay, let's go back to Freight Market and reset this job. Okay, so that's going to take us down there to pick up the trailer, and then we could swing back up this way and get back on 80. Oh, wait, we wanted to see this one, uh, this question mark, too. I think because there's a wrench there, I think that's a dealer. Yeah, okay, so let's put a waypoint to the dealer there. We'll go there, and then we'll swing to get our trailer, and then we'll come back this way and head up to Stockton just to uncover these two question marks here. 
Okay, so I think that's our plan. All right, let's head out. Start up our our freight liner here. Yeah, I'm excited, man, to to get both the shifter and also the um, you know the the head tracker. I think that's going to really enhance this game uh, quite a bit. Hold on one second. Let's open this up. When I was watching the last video, uh, we increased our field of view. But it felt like when I was watching the video, I was just a little too far away from the steering wheel. All right, those lights are on. So that feels a little, a little more comfortable, I guess. I mean, when I put the when I put the steering wheel right in the center of my screen, and I can just line up the Freightliner logo with you know, my Samsung logo on my monitor. I don't know, it feels like I'm still kind of too far to the left. I feel like I should be able to see over that way a little more, even in the peripheral. And I know I can move over to the right, but then that might look weird too. Let's just try it really quick. So that would be... Um, I think that's head turn. Yeah, this is actual slide over to the right a little bit. Hmm. What if we did the head turn a little bit? That might be okay. Because now we can kind of see a little bit further. We can see almost the entire whole windshield. <laughs> My steering wheel's not quite in the center of the screen now. Yeah, let's tr let's try this. I, I kind of like this one. Let's just try and see how it goes. Okay, anyway. So let's see. We are heading out of here, and we're going to want to go right, it looks like. And we're doing a bobtail. For those of you who don't know what that means, it's when you're basically doing a dry run without a reefer or any other trailer on the back. It's called a bobtail. And you kind of don't want to do too much of that. Hold on, I gotta adjust my wheel here. The rotation's a little bit too intense for me. Alright, let's try this. Alright, I need to get over. for that car. Dude. What the heck, man? Yeah, it'll, I'm sure it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to the the eight shifter. Okay, I've got to watch our speed here. Oh, come on, man. Stay on the road. <laughs> I'm like way out of practice here. Okay, we're going to turn right here. Okay, I need to remember to double shift too, at least in the lower gears. What just happened? What? What did I do? <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Apparently I uh, crashed into somebody. Dang it. Wow, okay. Sorry, whoever that was. <laughs> I didn't even see you. My goodness, okay. Anyway, here's the place. Oh, it's a Volvo dealership, okay. Do we have to pull in there or will we discover it just by driving by? Um, looks like we have to pull in there, okay. Oh man, that... That's like freaked me out, man. I didn't even know anybody was there. 
scared me. Uh, okay, so we are at the Volvo dealership. It looks like there's um, uh, we, looks like we can repair here. Um, let's actually look at that since we just crashed into somebody. We have one percent damage on our truck. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about that. Well, actually, how much does it cost to repair one percent damage? Wow, we can start out in fifth gear without a load on this truck. How interesting. Okay, press enter. Truck maintenance and repairs. So a total of $338 to repair just a little bit of wheel damage. Why is it costing me money to repair all this stuff when it says 0%? I don't understand that. But I'm not going to repair it if it's 0%. Uh, we will let's we'll repair our tires for 90 bucks. Wow, that was expensive, man. <laughs> 90 bucks. Holy crap. Okay. Um Yeah. Okay. There we go. You know, there's always something you can tune or paint to make you feel a better about your truck. Oh, so this is where we can come and do some more customization. I wish I could get like a larger fuel tank this is a an upgraded transmission well wait a minute what's upgraded about it it's the same exact thing we have oh it's got a retarder okay uh okay so that would only cost us another five thousand bucks if we bought the retarder how much money do we currently have uh, you know what? i don't think we need that right now let's uh, yeah, I want to cancel all modifications. Yeah, we don't need to do that right now. We can worry. We can work on that later. Okay. Anyway, we're all repaired. And we found a Volvo dealer. It's good to know for future reference in case. When we're in the market for a truck again. Hey, there's like one of the supports on the Golden Gate. That's cool. Okay, let me stop here for just a moment. Right in the middle of the road. Hopefully, hopefully nobody else is pulling into Volvo. And uh, yeah, it looks like it wants us to go down there. Now, how are we doing on fuel? We're, we're getting a little low on fuel and a little low on sleep. Hmm, okay. Well, we're probably going to have to, um, maybe when we get up to Stockton, we'll refuel and sleep in Stockton before we go on the actual trip. Oh, slow down. We just passed a cop, too. We're going to turn left up here, so we'll stay in this lane. Oh, stay green. Ha <laughs> ha Nice. Okay, 30 miles an hour, OG. Take her nice and easy. Yes, I'd, I'd like to be able to upgrade the fuel tank as, as maybe even one of our first upgrades because we only have 120 gallons. It's pretty small. I know some of the other starter trucks that you can get have 150 gallon tanks. But this, between the two options that we had at the time, um, you know, this truck was cheaper and it had more horsepower. And to me, the horsepower is the most important thing, I would think. Why is the GPS going to the Voltron place? I don't know. We don't need to go there.
Trailer air supply. Just driving around in San Fran. Loan installment, okay. This is kind of back the way we came, I think. Let's look at the map really quick. Yeah, because we came in this way and around here, but we're going a little further south than that. Gotcha. I gotcha, man. Yeah, uh, once we get the head tracking set up, that's going to make this game so much easier to play, more realistic. Don't you pull out in front of me. Don't you dare pull out in front of me, man. Santa Cruz and Oakland. Yeah, we came from Oakland. I like the, the fog there. That's kind of cool. Nice little effect. We're probably going to want to get in the left lane because it looks like we're going to be turning left. Start off in third. Okay, we have to yield to this guy. And it looks like we're going to pull in here to the right to get our cargo. Okay, so we want the cheese storage to Barstow. We have to do this in eight hours and 28 minutes. Well, that's the trip time. What? How, how fast do we have to do it in? Or wait, are we gonna have time to sleep? I guess that's the thing I've gotta pay attention to. So they expect it at th Thursday at 2 p.m. at the latest. What day is it right now? It's Wednesday at 12.46. Yeah, we sh should be able to make that work. I think we can make that work. Okay. So take the job. Your trailer is ready, and that looks like that's it right there. All right. That's easy enough. Pop her in reverse.
All right, man, we got our load. Whoa, don't back up. Okay, so before we take off, um, let's see. So it's going to send us down here and then along here back to I-5. There's a place we could sleep there, but I don't see a fueling spot. Trip time, checkpoint distance. So we wanted to kind of run up to Stockton, but I don't know, that might be a little bit far out of the way. What we could do instead is come down into Santa Cruz because that's on our way, and there's a couple uh, we could gas up, sleep the night, and discover a couple of things here too. Uh, right here is what I meant. Right. Okay. So let's. This is probably a dealership, and there's fuel here, and there's uh, at least one thing. No, there's two things to discover right here. Okay. So let's make this our destination. Why in the world is it? taking us all the way back up there just to go across. Why couldn't we go across here? We probably can. For that matter, we could even go down 101, a highway that I've actually been on in real life many times. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get to this location first, and then we'll kind of assess uh, what to do from there. Okay, here we go. Start out in third okay with 33 some odd thousand pounds. It's not going to be too bad. And it looks like we're clear to pull out. And we're going to turn left up here. Okay, we're on our way, folks. $13,000 payoff on this job. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, man. That yellow light lasted like a half a second. What the heck? doing terrible today we caused a little accident and we got a red light but that's bs that little light lasted literally like i'm gonna have to go back but it seemed to me like it was like a second or less that's not very realistic come on man do those fines like cut into your xp or something your experience i don't know Okay, it's currently 30, now it just changed to 40. I'm gonna get over in the slow lane, the truck lane, and now it's 50. Yeah, that was, that was BS. <laughs> I mean, I was already kind of committed, you know, point of, point of no return anyway. All right, we got our cruise on. And we could bump this up to 55, so let's do that. Yeah, I think I like this view just a little bit better because we can see just a, further, a little bit further over towards the passenger side. And we're on our way. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, it's only 11.22. Wait, what? 
How can it be 11.22 p.m.? Oh no, that's when we get there. Okay, it's 1.41 p.m. I was looking at the wrong thing. I was going to say, what are we in Alaska in the summertime or something? I play Gold Rush too, and uh, that game is so dark because it seems like most of the time I've spent digging is has been in the very late fall or early spring when it still, you know, stays dark out for a long time. All right, man, it's just a nice leisurely cruise down Highway 1, I guess. Yeah. We're going to get off here in Santa Cruz. Nice uh, scenery. that way. Eh, fifth gear is a little bit too high for this load. Alright, so we have something to, to discover right up here. Santa Cruz discovered. It's probably a, another, maybe a dealership or a recruitment. I don't know. guess we have to turn right because it's probably going to be too far in for us to discover it without doing that. Nope, I'm not turning right on red. Every time I've done that, I've gotten burned. We've already used up our quota of traffic violations and other, other bad things that we don't want to be having happen here. There we go. Okay, recruitment agency. Nice. Okay, cool. Now, uh, we're going to wrap around this way. Here, let me look at the map real quick. And we're going to want to turn left, and then we can fuel up and rest here. It's a little bit early to rest, though. Well, Okay, well, let's get over there and discover that dealership first. I'm pretty sure that's a dealership. And then we'll assess where we are. Look at all the other trucks over here. This must just be a, a stop sign and not a, a light. All right, well, obviously I can't see if anyone's coming that direction, so I'll just wait here. There is a car coming a little further out. But I think after this white car, we should be able to to go. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so looks like that's an international uh, dealership right across the road there. Let's put our parking brake on and fill up our tank. Oh, I guess we'll cut the engine too. Are you press and hold? Oh, press and hold. Gotcha. Tank is full. Okay, nice. Now, let's uh, look at the map again for a second. So, there's actually a place to sleep right across the road here. Oh, that must that must be the truck dealer there. Okay. Um, so on our sleep meter, if we look at the meter itself, it's getting pretty high, but it I don't know how to tell how many hours we actually have left. It says next rest stop in four hours and 19 minutes. Does that mean we have four hours and 19 minutes left? I still don't know exactly how that works. Um, but we have plenty of time. So what we could do is get another four hours or so down the road. Uh, because it's just a little bit early. I mean, it's only 2.45 in the afternoon to be sleeping, I think. What just happened? I press, I press the M key and I heard some airflow somewhere. I don't know what just happened. So what we could do is get a little further down the road. Um, could we get it all the way down to Santa Maria in four hours? If I put the waypoint there. Does that mean that that's 79 miles away and we'll get there in an hour and 51 minutes? I think that's what that means because this is probably what that's calling the checkpoint. And that gets us quite a bit closer. I, that makes sense. I think we should do that. We should just cruise on down Highway 101. Uh, except for the, the GPS is like taking me all over the place, though. Taking me down Highway 1. What if we, what happens if we reset navigation? Oh, no, reset navigation. You got to be careful because when you click on the map, it just sets it. We could go to Bakersfield instead. Um, and there's stuff to discover in Bakersfield. And that's, that's really a little bit more directly on our route. Don't click, OG. Right. Okay. So let's do this. Let's click on. Let's click on this. I don't see any other question marks. Fuel station here. And that's where we'll get to. Oh, we can get there in four hours and 52 minutes. And then we can fuel up, and then we can just pull right over here to sleep and discover whatever these two things are, which are probably a recruitment and a dealership. I'm thinking that's what we can do. So four hours and 52 minutes, and we have four hours and 17 minutes. But I think, hmm, can we go, I think we can go over that a little bit without getting into trouble. Okay, I want to show you guys something else, too, that I discovered. Um, if you press... Oh, no, zero. Oh, does that, wait a minute. Does that not work? I thought there was a way you could press zero to, to actually get out of the truck. Sort of, kind of get out of the truck. And actually move around, but for some reason that doesn't seem to be working. All right, well, I don't know. Well, let's head on over and discover this, um international uh, dealership 
Is there a parking brake off? I think so. Yeah. And then we'll head on down the road. What? Oh, that's the gas payment. Okay. I wish it didn't use the same noise for when you crash into something or get a ticket and just make payments because it's like, makes me think I just did something wrong. Uh, like I just did there without putting my turn signal on. That kind of something wrong. International truck dealer discovered. Nice. Hi, international truck dealer. Fantastic. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get out of here now. Oh, can we get out over here? Not really. All right, let's just drive around this way. Okay, looks like it's clear that way, and it's clear that way. And we got a green light. Let's go. All right, so we have a full tank. But we are going to have to uh, keep an eye on our sleep. I think we can make it to Bakersfield. But if it looks like we're starting to have trouble, um, we might need to find a, a place a little closer, uh, you know, with our sleep. Don't you turn red, stupid light. See, that one seemed like it lasted a lot longer than the other one. The yellow? I don't know. Weird, man. We're going to have to merge over. the freeway we go. Highway 101. We're clear to get on. Okay, so it looks like 55 is our speed limit. Let's knock the cruise control down to 55 and we should coast back down to the proper speed. Oh, we're going to have to turn and get off up here. Wait, what? I thought we were going down 101. Oh no, we're going to cross over to I-5. Right, okay. Gotcha. I think our original plan was to go down 101, but then things changed. the Jake on because we can except for I didn't shift quite shift properly there but whatever <laughs> come to a complete stop don't see anybody coming that way I think we're good
So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this game so far. It's um, it's different, you know. I think I personally will enjoy it more once I get the head tracking and the and the shifter, you know, the right shifter going. But, you know, I, I just don't know how interesting it is for you guys to watch. I mean, there are some YouTubers out there that do make a lot of these videos and people watch them. So it's definitely interesting to some people. So, yeah, maybe give me a little feedback and let me know what you guys think about it. I'm enjoying it so far. Get up to speed here. And cruise control. Okay. Nice. As I've said before, you know, the scenery is part of what really makes makes it neat. Um, especially for me, you know, if it's scenery that I've seen in real life and, and just to see, you know, how authentic it looks. Which basically means that if you go to some place that you haven't ever been before, at least you have a little bit of an idea of what that place kind of looks like. I would think. All right, we are going to get on the interstate up here. There we go. I-5, baby. Been on this interstate many, 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 many times, too. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm from Washington State, uh, but I live in Colorado. I have lived in Colorado for the last 22 or 3 years, uh, but I am from Washington and lived in Oregon for a while too, so I'm a Pacific Northwest native. Uh, both of which I-5 and Highway 101 uh, run through, and that's why of course I've been on those highways so many times. Okay, cruise control is back on. Let's switch to 10th gear. And we should be in good shape for quite some time here. Uh, our sleep meter is really getting up there, though. Let's take a look at... Uh, no, not that. This. Next rest stop is in 2 hours and 14 minutes. It's not telling me how f soon to our next waypoint, though. Uh, at least not that I can see. So let's get the map up for a minute. Three hours and nine minutes. Okay, so I guess the question here is, will we be able to fudge that a little bit? Um, but if not, I mean, there's places to sleep here, right, as where we get off the interstate. So if it looks like we're in bad shape, before we can get all the way to Bakersfield, we can always go there. I believe that's that's our plan, Stan. I don't know about y'all, but I think it's time for some music. If I can remember... Uh-oh, oh, I'm starting to yawn. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I mean, I guess we could just hit the rest stop that comes up in two hours and two minutes. If we have to. But, you know, I, I know from watching somebody else that we, we have a little bit of a of a buffer there. So, nope, no, I don't want to turn those on. That's what I wanted. Okay, so let's do some music, man. Oh, what do we want today? What have we not done yet? How about, let's do Little Moments. This is a good one. Okay, enjoy the music, guys. And the yawning. <laughs> Past 
Let's check the map here. Turn that down a little bit. How close are we getting? Yeah, we still have a bit of a ways to go. Hopefully we can at least make it to here. Uh, my eyes, I've yawned a couple more times, but my eyes haven't started closing yet. So I wonder what those things are. Yeah, there he goes yawning again. Station. Oh, you can bypass. Nice. That's probably a good thing since <laughs> we're so. Oh, okay. Those are a scales. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. It's letting us bypass because we're kind of uh, on a tight schedule here. Thanks, dudes. We need to get an air horn on this truck. That horn's pretty wimpy for such a for a semi truck. do have our lights on, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. So 30 minutes to the next rest stop, which should be that junction where we get off the interstate. Can our dude make it for 30 minutes? That's the question. If you're getting tired, you should find a parking place to rest. I'm working on it. We're working on it, man. You just hang in there, buddy. Have a, uh, a, a Red Bull or whatever those drinks are called that I don't really like. <laughs> a monster. Never really cared for those drinks. I'm a coffee drinker, but uh, I don't really like caffeine, caffeine drinks like that. Yeah, we're getting there. I think we can go all the way into Bakersfield. It's almost 7 p.m. too, so that's going to mean we're going to, you know, sleep mostly at night, so that'll be good. Come on, man. No way! <laughs> I didn't go through it! You stupid game! Oh, man, that is BS! Alright, I call hacks, man. Total hacks. It's, it was another, like, mega fast yellow light, too. This is the day for fines, man. Alright, on to Bakersfield. Are these my high beams? Oh no, that switches to a new thingy. Okay. Where's my high beams? Oh, these are the high beams. Okay. Gotcha.
There's so many buttons to map in this game, it's hard to remember what you did. <laughs> I'll get used to it, though. This is definitely the violation episode. My goodness. So we got a sleeping violation. What? What is there, like the sleep cops or something? I thought our eyes would start to close. Maybe they changed the way the game works. Okay, that means we should probably pull over pretty quick because it's probably going to just keep giving us a violation. I need, I need to turn that music down a little bit more, too. Okay, well, the fuel station's right up here, and then just a little ways further down the road from there is where we'll go sleep. Bakersfield discovered. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? <laughs> I can't believe this. I had a monster. I don't need I don't need to sleep right now. Oh, turn signal. The question now is can we get to the sleep place before we get another fine? You're getting Yeah, I know. I know I'm tired. Just chill out. But we got to refuel, too. We're sticking with our plan, even if you find me again. Ooh, this is kind of narrow. Are we good? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right. Oh, stop the engine. Right. Of course. Okay, let's fill back up. Okay, and then we're going to go here. And we're just going to cruise right over here. Discover whatever that is. It's probably a dealership. This is probably a recruitment. And then sleep. That was the uh, pain for the gas. Okay. All right. Nobody. Oh, nope. There is someone coming. I just saw the headlights. Sorry. 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 <laughs> okay. So many things to think about all at the same time, guys. If you haven't ever played this game or driven a truck, then you might not. You might not understand. We're going to we're going to get at least one more sleep fine you watch. I don't like the, I don't like that. I mean, I I thought the game uh, well, I know the game at least used to you'd start closing your eyes, and, you know, and your screen would show that your eyes were closing. And I thought that would happen first before they started sending the the sleep police after me. But apparently they changed how the game works. Don't get a speeding ticket on top of everything else. You're getting... Did we just get a... I don't know. We got something kind of fine. It's probably a sleeping fine. Oh, the light's green. Please stay green. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right. We got through on time. 
All right, we got a dealership here. It's a Peterbilt. All right. Peterbilt truck dealer discovered. All right, we need a sleep. So we're supposed to be able to sleep at the dealership. Probably, I'm guessing, around back, maybe. All right, hold on a sec. It seems to indicate that, oh, we can pull in here. I got you, okay. I probably would back in, but we, we, need, to, we need to go to sleep now because <laughs> I don't want to get any more fines. Okay. Put the parking brake on. And I should, yep, press enter to rest. Whew. Okay, you guys. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, we got rest. We got full fuel. And, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to, to set out. However, we are, unfortunately, out of time in this episode. So I'm going to let you guys go here. And uh, it's probably going to be a little bit longer episode, actually. Uh, but that's okay. Um, and, yeah, we will pick up right where we left off in the next episode. Hopefully, I will have my new H shifter, uh, my Thrustmaster TH-48, whatever H shifter that I paid way too much money for, uh, set up. And then you guys get to watch me figure out <laughs> how to actually shift with 10 gears instead of use sequential. But I want to learn how to do it, man. That's part of the fun of the game. And then, you know, sometime next week, a few days from now, I should have my, my head tracker and... Um, We'll add that to the mix, too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, I got a safe. Um, I guess this will be save four, eh? At some point, we can start overriding those other saves. There we go. Okay, see ya.